I feel like that we got have to go homeless again. That's the biggest worry for Tracy, who lost her job after the pandemic shutdown. I'm out of work right now, so the unemployment don't pay us enough to pay rent, to buy food, you know what I'm saying, clothes. She now sells a few items on the streets, trying to make ends meet. Before, when I when I was out here able to work, I have like two, three hundred dollars just to just to just to have fun with. Now I don't have but like two or three dollars left, and I barely have that. To protect people like her, the city of Los Angeles temporarily halted evictions, giving tenants up to 12 months to repay their landlords for missed rent triggering a federal lawsuit filed by Southern California's largest landlord organization earlier this month. The city of LA, through its strict eviction moratorium, and on top of that, its rent freeze uh, and keeping us out of court, that um, they have just gone way overboard on their regulation, and it has become a taking of our property without just compensation. Yukelson claims some landlords who depend on the rent payments are also struggling to make ends meet or keep up with their mortgage payments. In the meantime, some legal aid organizations are working with lower income families, helping them access the limited resources that are available in order to prevent what they call almost a powder keg situation, right? You already have a, a, a huge problem with homelessness and now you're going to exasperate it with a huge number of unemployment and possible um, loss of all those jobs and of course their homes as a result. Um, so that need uh, is now just multiplied exponentially. The number of homeless people in L.A. County has seen a 13 percent increase over the last year, reaching more than 66,000, by far the largest in the nation. But a recent study by UCLA warns that potential evictions in the aftermath of the pandemic could turn this pre-existing crisis into a catastrophe. The high estimate of the number of households that will become homeless is 120,000 households that include 184,000 children. So it's the kind of unthinkable situation that uh, this country and this city have never encountered before. It could take months for the lawsuit over evictions to be resolved while people like Tracy continue to live in fear of losing their homes. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.